Because mm. it's similar to here, we're, when we ask the question, what are the acceptable ways to be black in America and disagree with the power structure? I can't walk, I can't sit, I can't kneel, I can't fight, I can't run, I can't hide. What are the acceptable ways to push back against something that is so detrimental, not just to yourself, but to your neighbors, your children? your people's very future. And I think if we would couch it there and then work forward, we can avoid many of the landmines that are set out for us because people are not up for nuanced discussion. They are not up for all the things that lead up to something occurring. They only want to focus on what has occurred and then draw moral values and assign assign things that way. And it's, it's deeply unfair because at the same time that I am to mourn and I do mourn the people who are non-combatants in Israel that were killed in their homes, just living their lives. Now there's, like I said, there's some caveats in there because this was in the settler areas. But the fact remains, these were still non-combatants. And this happened. Well, we have an entire population that has been confined to an open air prison. We've heard that said many times. Mm -hmm. um, Israel controls what gets in, what gets out. Israel currently is deciding that no medical aid, no food aid, no uh, uh, fuel, yeah. nothing, nothing at all goes in to an entire population. Be, but at the same time, they say out the other side of the mouth, we're not at war with the Palestinian people, we're at war with Hamas. Well, for those of you who are not familiar, Hamas is a revolutionary uh, opposition force. They're not the government. Mm -hmm. Palestinians have a Palestinian authority. That mm -hmm. is their government. So saying that all of these people should be punished and their lives are forfeit because of the acts of Hamas is the same as saying all the people in Afghanistan, their lives were forfeit because of Al Qaeda or ISIS, or everyone in the South's life is forfeit because of the Ku Klux Klan and the other white militia groups. If you can't say that about those, even though out of the, the three things I just said, only in the South is the exception because we did go into Afghanistan and very closely come, come very close to indiscriminately killing many, 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 many people. Um, and those who couldn't sort out, they put in Abu, Abu Ghraib or put in the one in Cuba and, and they just refuse to let them go with no trial, no, no rights. So it's just the whole thing is a hot mess. So I would really rather. Well, I really like for people to just answer what's the appropriate way to fight for your freedom. Mm -hmm. And you have to understand that this, this is not something that started a week ago, two weeks ago. This is something that has been building and building since the end of the Ottoman Empire, the end of World War I even though that is not when Israel was formed. But all of these groups, you know, um, please just think of the people. And like Fia said, what is the appropriate way to fight oppression? So, yeah, this is not weeks old. This is not years old. This is this is a century old, at least. And if you don't know the yeah, history, please go and look that up. Yeah, take a look at it. Take a look 
And when you go in to look at that loss, so look at America's relationship with Iran. So if you notice, America is always trying to find a way to pivot to Iran. They're doing the same thing with Iran that they did with Iraq, right? Mm -hmm. you, you, you had your issue. You should have gone after this group, which would have been you should have gone to Saudi Arabia. But Saudi Arabia is too much of a partner of yours. So you went to Afghanistan and used them as a proxy battlefield to fight there because who cares what happens there? And while you were there, you made the pivot to Iraq because you still had grievances from the first desert storm, the first uh, Middle East war. Mm -hmm. And now we're looking at the situation with Israel, the entire nation going up against a, they call them a terrorist group and what they did was terroristic. So mm -hmm. they're going after Hamas. And now America is already beating the drums for Iran. So that way Israel can fight in Palestine. Iran is saying flat out, Israel, if you do a ground invasion into Palestine, you will have to deal with us too. They're not saying we're going to come get you. They're saying we will come get you if this thing happens.